Hi everyone, I'm Tracy, Movement and Alignment Guide, and today I'm continuing in my video series about how to improve your balance, and today I'm going to be focusing on strengthening the muscles of our hips. Um, now you can find all the other videos that focus on balance on my website at tracyreneestafford.com and there you can also find information about my one-to-one -one online teaching, um, read my blog posts about mindful living, and see the other videos that I have of stretches, exercises, and meditations about how to feel and move better from the inside out. Now, I wanted to do this series on balancing for several reasons. Of course, I always wanna give people tools to help them prevent falling, because when we fall, it can create a whole host of other problems. But also, when we're practicing our balance, we can learn so much about ourselves. We can really learn about how our spine is aligning and all the joints of our body. And when our balance is good, it means that our spine is aligned really well. And this means that there's good, even stress happening through our bones and we're building up really good bone density. Um, when our spine is misaligned, there can be poor balance and uneven and unnecessary wear and tear through the joints. And over time, this can lead to degenerative issues like osteoarthritis. And then also, when we're working on our balance, we can really see how well our deep core postural muscles are firing or not in order to help us with our balance. And this is useful because when our deep postural muscles are firing, it means that they're protecting our knees, our hips, our lower back, our shoulders. And it also means that we're able to recruit these deep muscles from the inside out, and we can put that into all of the activities that we do for more power in our golfing, in our cycling, our running, and even in daily activities like gardening or picking up our children or our grandchildren. So, Working on these deep core muscle muscles is so helpful. Injury prevention, more power, more longevity. So all of that can happen when we're working on our balance. So I'm hoping that you'll do this with me. Um, if you are, I'm gonna come up to standing. And like I say, we're gonna focus on the hips today and this is actually really important because a very common thing that can happen um, is when we're standing on one leg, I'm gonna stand on my right leg and maybe just rest your left foot onto your right foot is commonly the hip can go out to the side um, when we're balancing because we're not recruiting these deep muscles on the side of our hip. And that can be a problem because it, if we're standing on one leg half the time that we're walking, running, all of those things. And if we're letting our hips go out of alignment, again, we're putting stress on our lower back, on our knees, and over time that can really create some problems. So we do need to really strengthen these muscles on the side of our hips. Okay, so you're gonna be standing on your right leg, make sure that the toes are pointing straight ahead, and just balance your left foot on top of your right. Bring your right hand to your hip so you can feel those muscles. And as you breathe in, let your right hip go out to the side so you can feel that wrong position. And then as you exhale, squeeze the muscles on the side of the hip and bring the hip back in so that your hip bones are in alignment. And again, inhaling, letting that hip go out to the side so you can really feel that. And then exhaling as you squeeze those muscles on the side of the hips to help you feel your alignment. And just one more time on this side. So we're inhaling, letting the hip go out to the side and exhaling to contract your muscles on lining up your hips. Okay, let's check it out to the other side. So standing onto your left foot, bringing your right foot on top. Could be different on both sides. So inhaling to let that hip go out to the side, and then exhaling, contracting the muscles on the side of the hip to bring them to level. Just do that a few more times. Okay, and hopefully you can already feel an awareness of those deep muscles. Okay, and noticing how when you do go out, to, out of alignment, how it can create some stress through your lower back and through your knees. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the floor. So I just need to move the camera so that we can practice even more exercises for our hips. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so I'll get you to come to laying onto your side. And it's great if you can actually have your back against a wall, but I do want you to feel like it's against the wall, okay? So your shoulders are stacked one on top of the other. Your hips are stacked one on top of the other. I want you to bring your bottom ribs in 
and your abdominals in again so it feels like they're back against a wall and the legs just a little bit in front of you so just piked a little bit okay all of this might draw your waist off of the floor a little bit and that's great okay with your top hand on to your hip raise your top leg up at hip height no higher and lengthen that top leg away again it'll lift the bottom waist off the floor just slightly and have the leg slightly turning in so that your foot is pointing straight ahead or even just slightly down okay and then from there you might already feel those muscles on the side of the hip firing and that's great okay from there i'm going to make small circles and you can see the circles are tiny and they're slow and the point is to keep your pelvis still keep your hip bones level and just move the leg in the hip socket to fire these side hip muscles okay and then just reverse your direction and while you're doing these if you can just breathe so you're letting your shoulders and your neck relax you may need to have a pillow between your head and your arm just so that you feel really comfortable okay and then come back down and then we're going to do that to the other side okay so i'll just get you to swing your legs over and if you can line yourself up so that your back is against an imaginary wall okay shoulders stacked up hips stacked up bring your bottom ribs back your abdominals back and then bring your top hand onto your hip lengthen the hip away and slightly turn the leg in so your foot is pointing straight ahead or just slightly down Okay, again, you want to feel that muscle on the side of your hip firing, and if you can make small circles. Okay, and breathing, again, make sure your neck is comfortable. A pillow here in between your head and your arm is absolutely fine. Okay, and then just reverse the direction. And just to know that I'm just doing a circle, but you could, to really challenge these muscles, do these exercises for even a longer period of time and have the leg swing forward and back make squares, write your name, anything like that where you're moving the leg but you're keeping the pelvis still. You're keeping your hip still and just moving the leg within the hip socket and so then that's going to be firing those muscles. Okay, so I'm sure you can feel that. Okay, so we're going to come back and try to balance again. So again, I'm just going to move the camera here. Okay. So, okay. So I'll get you to come back up to standing and we're gonna try and practice the tree. So I'm gonna to go to standing onto your right foot, toes pointing straight ahead. And with your left foot, if you can bring yourself up onto your big toe and turn the leg out. You can have that toe resting onto the floor. You can have it at your ankle, your shin, or you can bring it into your thigh. Okay, just not on the knee joint so we're not stressing the joint. So anywhere in there is fine. And then just feel the muscles on the side of your hips pull in and firm up to help you feel your balance. Okay, breathing in a really easy way. Again, it doesn't matter if your foot is up or if it's down, okay, as long as you're feeling those muscles fire. Okay, and then Landon will try that to the other side. So just make sure your left foot is pointing straight ahead. Bring your right foot up, turn it out, rest the foot at the ankle, the shin, or the thigh, not on the knee and then feel those muscles on the side of the hips firm up. And if you watched my previous videos, you can also bring your attention to the four corners of your feet, to the feeling of the kneecap pulling up, the inner and the outer thigh pulling up, the abdominals drawn into spine long, and just tuning into your breath, okay? So practice these at home often, um, always check in with me or with any uh, expert in the field to make sure that you're doing them correctly. But I hope that you find this really valuable and interesting and fun um, in order to help you feel and move better, like I say, from the inside out. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Be well.